Welcome back to the Dragon's Claw. What am I going to do with this guy? I guess... I guess we're just going to go back up to the top. I don't really see any other... reasonable way to advance out here. Inside the door. We could get down to street level, or I could try. I'm going to try getting to the top tower. I don't think on top. I don't think on top of the clock tower is any good. Oh, that's not good. Let's try that again. There's actually an overhang there that wasn't very visible to me. Got it. Mm, getting stuck on edges. I don't like reloading all the time. I hate quick loading all the time, but God, it's necessary. When this moving around in this engine, when the geometry is not being designed for moving around. All right. Well, let's repeat this. Okay, I'm stuck on the edge, but maybe I can get on this rope instead. Well, okay. I can stand the lamp. I guess that's acceptable as an alternative. So I can't get in the bell tower, but is there any reason to? It doesn't look like it. All right. Now what? Mm. Oh. Now I accidentally kill myself falling off. Well, you know what? Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Which door is this? I mean, this is the key the guard was counting. Oh, so this door only opens from this side. The same same door, but I couldn't open it from inside. I tried the key. I'm quite sure I tried the key. Well, okay. Hope I find a healing potion. He's carrying a torch. He's carrying pretty carelessly too, like he wants to burn his balls off. All right, this looks looks like an open window up there. Will this grapple onto? Wow, okay. Still extremely noisy. Fight me, you coward. I don't care about the guy up there hearing me, I do care about this guy maybe hearing me. Why couldn't I mantle? I don't know. Carrot! Put you back, okay. A valuable lucky horseshoe and another crate. Why is there a crate here? Do I doesn't matter? Can I get down safely? I could jump up to that. Ah! 
Well, or I can accidentally kill myself. Okay. This guy's coming back. Will it grapple onto metal? I don't know. Nope, it just vanishes, okay. Doesn't feel like a thing that would like if it doesn't Ah, I could attach the wrong place. Well this is kinda of tedious. Nothing you need to worry your pretty little face about. Okay, I can grab the rope again. That's good news. Okay, save. Little piggy. <laughs> Got a key on him. Let's try and grab that key off him when he comes back out, shall we? Hmm, there's a ledge there as well. I wonder if there's anything hiding in that ledge. Probably is, you know. Damn it, just as he opens the door. He's searching inside though. <sighs> nope, there's nothing here. So, can I get down? Probably not. Okay. Ah! Let's not do that then. Guglielmo, <coughs> hmm. stay on duty and follow these instructions. Don't drink, don't sleep, stay on the patrol route and report anything unusual. Keep watch. At some hour, Del Berio should be there. Give him the key from the showcase, the one with the sewer lift. Right, he's not coming here. He is coming back. I wanted to close the thing, but it wasn't it wasn't seeming to close. He's going there. Let's try again. No, nope, it doesn't close. That one does. Okay, so we've got the sewer lift key now. So we could go back out to the sewers. Well, we can see what else we can find in this town. Close themselves. Very, very strange. Okay, that's that goes up. I don't want to go up just yet. Hello. Oh, this is heading west. This is heading towards the bank. We don't want to head towards the bank. Not yet. We're not ready to head towards the bank. Let's leave all that then. I 
forgot he had a light on him. Hard to hide in the darkness, I forgot. My god has... Carries a light. Besides, you're told to report anything suspicious, not hit it on the head. What's that? Wanted, dead or alive, huh? Okay. Oh, I can't close that door again either? That's very strange. Hmm. Oh, is this the sewer lift? It only goes down. What's up there? God, that noise. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to be able to open the door then. If this lift only goes down, then I don't want to take it down yet because I won't be able to climb back up here when I find a key for this door. Assuming the door has a key. Right, so he just hangs around there for a bit. Yeah, nice curtain doorway, but not useful. The church, I write the monk at the church is a friend, right? Asset. Is that who has the asset? I can't close it up again. That's very, very strange. Oh, hello. Oh, that's why the thing lit up back in the tunnel, is to put a torch in. Hey, man. You're not suspicious, are you? In the name of the Father and the Son. Priest Abbot told me I must go to Vatican City and bring with me all the gold and jewelry I can. I don't want to do it. I don't want to become like them. We need to rest here where the poor lost sheep of the Lord are calling me. And after that, how to renounce the most wonderful hay to eat. I just bought this nice acid to drink from the shopman. It looks very good. I'll hide it in my secret little place under the column. Nobody will discover it. At least not until they'll use not unless they use the water. Amen. To entreat the Divine One and answer our needs. Well, my need is loot, and as long as uh, this Divine One gives me the loot, I will happily accept. Bless you, my son. Tell me, what troubles you? Unburden your soul, have it well, sense. Well, well. Hmm. Certainly, my son. I understand. For this type of problem, I suggest that you consult Dr. Feather. He would know how to help you better than I. May we break the vows of silence only in praise and thanksgiving. May we all join together as the church to entreat the Divine One to answer our needs. Dr. Feather, huh? Okay. Now there was a note in the readme about the, uh, the interior decoration of this chapel being a uh, kind of an homage to all the many chapels in Italy, I think. Um, and presumably some of the decorations are uh, from there as well. As much as I find it a little weird to have, you know, real world religious stuff in uh beef. Is this open? No. 
It was a nice looking chapel, I'll say that. So, Dr. Feather, huh? Where does Dr. Feather live? We got the lift key. Came to this region many years ago, it disappeared. Helpful medicine which has miraculous properties. I could use that. I'm quite, quite unwell at the moment. Hello? Was he immediately coming back? Okay. That's not good for me. He better not come this way. No, 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 don't come this way, man. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, I could maybe get on top of that. I could get on top of that halfway over that fence. Of. And another pig. We're gonna have lots of spending money. Okay. The question is where am I going now? So the light comes on, and you're immediately there in bright light with the guards staring at you. Just when I think the mission is is uh, getting not too bad, it does it throws a stupid trap like that at me. I mean, if I have to knock you out, I will, but I'd rather not. Wow, like tons of them all at once. Excellent gameplay, excellent gameplay. I'll find you. Just you wait. That was sarcastic in case of doubt. That's terrible gameplay. It's just like Yeah, guess what the player does in this they open doors. They're trying to find their way around. And so you throw a stupid trick like that at them. The Brazilian guards. Nothing to indicate it's a guard post. Now the light is still on and I think the doors stayed open. Great. It means noises are gonna be heard by all those fuckers. Wonderful. <laughs> that one's not locked. Whoops. Not again. We got problems here. <laughs> Heads are gonna roll now. Hello. Show yourself. God damn it. I let him kill me, basically. How did he even see me? He just comes running out of there. From way inside there. God. I know. I guess I know not to open that fucking door. Right, that has pissed me off rather royally. You're not even giving me any water arrows to manage, uh... You know, any kind of... Oh, that's... Is that the bank? It's the west side again, hang on, where's the map? Okay, maybe that's maybe that's the bank. It looks important. We are northwest. 
So if I open that door again. Suspiciously, like it opens. Is this one? Is this a mission where I can climb these? Yes, it is. Why would I want to? To get up here on this ledge? Why would I want to get on this ledge? Hmm. Well, if there's a hidden switch here that opens that, I'm not finding it. I still have my sewer key. I mean, that's not going to be one, that's the two left. Okay. <laughs> I can't climb that vine, just the other one. X, huh? Doesn't look at all suspicious. This clearly opens some way to... Oh, why not? Well, doesn't give me anything, but you know, Garrett's not too proud to eat cucumbers from a from a garbage bin when he's on the verge of death. Hello. Ah, that somehow brings an emergency exit ladder in. Uh, fire escape ladder. You know, you know what I mean. Why do you have a switch down there for an for a fire escape? It doesn't matter. If there's loot in here, it doesn't matter at all. We explore the town, we take what it gives. We try not to take the sharp edge of the blades that it wants to give as well. That's We try and take just the shinies, not the sharps. Hello? Anything in here? Big wires? What is this place? Glowy lights? Looks This looks significant. Warning message for Mr. Ranieri. Following the instructions of Dr. Otto, we decided to move all the control switches for the primary alarm system from this room to the opposite room in the south side of the building. That's for security purposes. Many reports tell us of a failure in conduit number five. We thought that a thief could easily find a way to climb up there and cut the power. So as of now, any kind of surveillance or maintenance of the alarms should be done from the south room. I marked with an X the part of the floor that should be reinforced. That point was the old great entrance to the pipes wall, sealed just a few years ago. It's important that no one leaves or drops heavy things on it. It could break. Thank you. Right, various junk. What's this one? Ooh. 25B Sector AS. On, off, on, main lever. Warning, destructive heat. 25B Sector Sector AL. Warning, purging toxic. Hmm. 25B sector AU. Warning, short circuit. Is that the one I've already been at? Okay, let's make a note of these because we can't pick them up, unfortunately. They seem significant. At least one of them is going to be. So we'll start with AS. We've got circular on, arc off, main on. A 
And what does that one do? Destructive heat. I don't know really what this means, but it seems significant, so I'm going to make notes. 25B sector AL, we have on, 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 purging toxic. And 25B AU, we have on, on, on. Does it? It's always down is on. The main lever, if that's important. On, on, on. Warning short circuit. I don't understand whether that's telling us that that, that, that is a dangerous uh, combination for the switches to be in. But uh, could be could be of value to us. So I'm guessing these switches don't do anything. Failure in conduit five. I mean, what? What just happened? Did that just insta kill me when I frogged that? What the f what the hell? Is this insta killing me? Yeah, you touch that and you just instantly die. What the fuck is that about? I mean, they don't seem to be relevant. We got the floor X. Okay. Here, because it's kind of noisy. Right, Garrett, climb down the ladder, please. All right, that's not a heavy object. Let's maybe we can pick up the rubble that we had earlier. The rubble pig. One hit point left. Must have bumped into that thing and it hurt me without me noticing. Great. This is a great game tonight. It's your turn. Let's play, stupid. Hey, listen. Sorry. Hulk? Oh my god. Damn. The last lap will be mine. <coughs> I feel like going that way is maybe going to get me seen. Try and do it quickly. Hey, hey. Over there! Hello? Just Take wait till I find thing. you. What the hell? Well, that doesn't seem a productive way to go. There's probably loot and stuff there, but, you know, given the way that they've... I have one hit point. There's tons of guards. I'm not sure I can really be bothered about trying to find loot. Let's see if we can head northeast. There's maybe a ledge up there. I don't know, I guess what makes me less inclined to explore a map 
things that instantly kill you, things that kill you for no particular reason, things that you really touch in, touch, brush up against that, that make you just fall, you know, fall over dead. These sorts of things make me very less inclined to feel positively about your mission and wish to explore it. Is this the shop? This looks like the shop. I want to find Dr. Feather first, ideally. And the guard's going away. Another big stack of crates. Which we will move, of course, because you never know what's hiding behind a stack of crates. Great. Crates and a great. Great big great, in fact. Hmm. Does this grate open? Is there a switch hidden somewhere? Probably behind where I've just stacked all the crates, right? And the windows area. Well, if we want to do more climbing without the rope, we have plenty of materials with which to do so. Ah, I'm trying to grab the other one and it's... For some reason, I'm trying to grab the ones much further away before the one that's closer to me. I think some of these have got a different frog distance set on them for some reason. Okay. Why can I pick that up? I guess it's a piece of junk that's kind of in the way. Hello, is that a thing? Looks like a thing. Here we are. Alright, a uh, way into the sewers. Not sewers. Maybe sewers. Uh huh. It's a main switch. Yeah, this is one of those places, isn't it? Okay. But which one is this? I don't know. We don't have a key. I can't see the other levers, that's, that's the main switch. There's a ladder up to somewhere. Okay, that looks like... Uh, is that water or is that toxic gas? I can't tell. I think it's supposed to be water. It didn't kill me, so... It's a good indication that it's not toxic gas. That looks like it opens as well. Hmm, I wonder actually if I can move some of the, the torches off, this, off the streets. This is locked. This shouldn't be locked. Okay, which direction is that? That's west. So maybe this is under the bank? I don't know. Right, I just went around here. This is just the switch. Right, okay. Maybe this doesn't open. Let's test it. That sounds like something opens there. 
Surprised I didn't go clang, but you know, I guess that's fine. So how does it open? Is a different question. Given how Stellina seems to like to hide switches to make them incredibly hard to find. I could be here a very long time. I'm gonna try my master key. Probably won't work. Nah. Burn it. See, I, was, I, would have, I would have wanted to look in here, right? If it was behind the torch, maybe, but no. I mean, we can avoid torches. We can throw the torch in the water, right? No, it doesn't even go out. Okay. Well, who knows where this is just going to be. It's not going to be... It may not be anywhere particularly near it. Also a lot of delayed, you know, distant action levers and switches, so... I have to leave that one. Okay, I need some healing. Oh, how do I get back up? I mean, I guess... I have that, so I can get back up. But if I didn't, I think I'd be pretty screwed. Maybe it's worth dropping a couple of boxes down there for... Uh, for later. To make a more reliable way up. Hello, what's this place? <laughs> I can new mantle my way up here. I think instead of instead of using the, the thump arrow again. Osvaldo, I can't continue in this way. The bankers are gonna kill me if I don't pay the rent. Lombardi is not like his father. He's angry, he's smarter, and he's a liar. He protects the bankers and he'll get all of us fools. By the time you read this letter, I'll be far away from here. Sorry and goodbye. Wow, how much rent was he charging for this little uh, cube? Too much is the answer. Whatever he was charging is too much. Okay. Am I stuck here now? Maybe. <laughs> no, I can mantle that. Okay. Do I just buy healing from the shop? I'm gonna try going up there. There's a ledge. It's a rooftop. <laughs> Nothing there. Doesn't look like anything there either, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get onto Hello. Is it something there? No, it's just the facade of the place. That guy doesn't see me. I think I need to drop down the street lamp if I'm going to have a, any hope of survival here. I wonder if that window opens, that little shuttered one. 
Ooh, there's my lack of hope of survival. Okay. Fine, we just won't go up there. Have I been out this way? Yes, a little bit. Let's try the southern side of town. Southeast. Oh, we've already been here, right? Is this really just a dead end? Or does this open? How would I know? Enough. What? Halt! How do you see me? Alright. Ah! Fine. No will. This was nothing. Your board. Is there anything else in this area that I haven't explored? I don't think so, right? This is a guard post. Yeah, this is just a guard post, okay. I hope that guy to come and go and then we'll get back down there. I want to spend money. I want to go buy a healing potion, right? But also, we've got this whole, uh... Dr. Feather, you should go see him. He's a key. He's got a magical... Uh... Healing potion. Then, of course... Where the hell is he? He apparently disappeared. You know something about him and you're not telling me. Oh, there's a doorknob there. Weird that there's a doorknob just floating in midair. It's not probable. Do you have anything else to tell me? Can I steal all the loot that the church had for me? I guess I did. What's that? Anything? No, just an arch. Bonus, don't knock anybody out. You know, I'm really tempted to just start knocking all these guards out just to not have to wait for them all the time. Did I go up there? I can see an archway up the top there. I don't think I did. Wait till he's further away. Well, he'll actually go through into the into his little guard post and close the door, right? Maybe. This guy might hear, but I don't think this guy's a threat. Hope he's not a threat. Oh, 
not nothing up here? Okay. Can I get down safely? That guy's upset, but he's, but as I said, he's not a threat. Okay, we've got this door up here, I can't. Oh, wait, did I strike up the pillars key up here? I don't know that I did, you know. I guess I could have done that with a crate as well, it would have been quieter. Okay. All oh, right, maybe I didn't have the key last time I was up here. Can't close the door either, that's strange. <laughs> I just did that for luck. I wasn't expecting that to uh, have an impact. Okay. It's just like, you know. Oh, what have we got here? Pills? Notes of Dr. Feather. Everything went fine, but when my brother Lombardi told me about the imprisonment of our third brother, I couldn't believe it. Over the years, the knowledge of our father, Campus, gave me the necessary ability to create a powerful medicine, the Alkanim. With this, the chemistry of the body can be completely healed. With the addition of pure geronium, I can have a perfect cure for all of us. They named it Healing Potion. Blessed ignorance. I tested a new pill all today on my friend the monk. He suffered various pains. Damn, I was wrong about something. Then I healed him with a couple of aspirin, those that my father gave me. I must be careful, I don't have many more of them in my secure store. Once I run out, there'll be no others, and I don't know how to create them. The monk is now healed, but he began mumbling some disconnected sentences. And he does strange things, too. I saw him taking a container and filling it with some kind of liquid. I thought it was water for the cemetery, so I checked. It was corrosive acid. I think his mind is gone. I just hope he doesn't hurt anyone, or even himself. The testing of the Alcanum 2 was a total failure, and now our destiny is sealed. We will get old. Anyhow, I found another use for the Clamex that is similar to the Alcanum. Joined with the Zilix 3, it can heal the majority of large wounds. People of the village begin to call me Dr. Feather. I don't know exactly the reason for this, but it's interesting since I'm not a doctor at all, I am a scientist. Selling these medicines will make me rich. I found also that the Sinorias mixed with the LSK has some interesting features. It can give some visions of the unknown, or better yet, some visions of what we need to know to solve something that hides from our view. That's a perfect thing to sell to these poor foolish village folk. Soon I will be rich. In the morning my father, Lord Campus, will meet me at the pub. He told me that our brother went totally mad. He mumbled something about conquering the world and some other strange and foolish things. I was shocked. Campus also said that he vanished, taking with him some precious and dangerous gadgets. Someone said they saw him set sail on a ship. We must do something to stop him before it's too late. Page missing. The moment we've waited for has arrived. I know where he's hiding. I will go to his lair. Maybe this is the only chance we'll have to stop him. I must go. I will meet him and hope to quickly finish this thing. I have the poison in my bag. I think we will not. I think he will not suspect anything. Wish me well. Page missing. Okay. What are these? Pills. Of different kinds. No, they're all Dr. Feather's pill. Okay. Do they heal or do they make me bad? Or do they give me visions? Now you know. Oh, I see. They, they will make things appear in the vicinity. Kind of hint pills. Okay. Hello. Scaling up. All right. Nothing exciting. So he doesn't have the healing ones for me. I guess, unless, unless there were different types, uh, but they all stack together, so that if they were different types, that's a, an error by the map author. Alright, well, I guess we're done in here. Hmm. I guess now I can use this. Oh. This is not the sewer lift. <laughs> I've been avoiding using it because I thought it was going to go down and I could only use it once. It's a completely different lift. <laughs> it just takes me off, so... 
absolutely needlessly using that uh, thing. Oh, now I can't get it back down, can I? Back down. All right, well, we found Dr. Feather's place. It's not where I need, what I needed, so now I guess we need to head back northeast. To the shop. Oh, fine. Feathered friend here has moved on. Feathered? He's not Dr. Feather. Okay. What can we buy in the shop? Come, stranger. What can I get for you? Well, that's a good question. I'll see your price list. All the items in this list are guaranteed and made by me. You wrongly think to test them on me, remember this. I am surrounded by an invisible force field that protects me against anything. So don't be foolish. Be cool. Ice arrows. They are made of a magical ice liquid. Once released, it freezes everything it touches. Out of stock. Rope arrows. This arrow will stick into wooden surfaces and deploy a hanging rope. 250. Noise arrows. The mechanism in this arrow produces a strange noise upon impact, useful as a distraction. 250. Pack of five arrows for 75. Just broadheads. Black hole arrow. This magic arrow creates one shot a globe of negative energy that teleports every organic thing within six feet into another dimension just for 30 seconds. Then they will come back. 200 gold coins. That's pretty cheap to making black holes. Hammerite arrows. These arrows invoke the spirit of a good hammerite priest who will guard and protect you for 30 seconds. 500 gold coins. Necromantic arrows invoke the spirit of an undead. Will attack anyone within its radius for 30 seconds. Out of stock. Earth crystals, 145. We know how moss arrows work. A mine. This grenade has a proximity sensor and will produce a fiery explosion when approached. Once it's armed, you can only disarm it with your lockpicks. 350 gold coins. Speed potion, 300 gold coins. Flash mine, out of stock. Breath potion, out of stock. Blair, out of stock. We've got a bunch. Healing potion, 250. Well, we're going to buy a few of those. Flash bomb, 200. Water crystals, 50. Flame crystals, yes, yes. Grap grapple arrow, out of stock. Well, I've got one, thanks. Uh, stick on the rock and ceramic surfaces. Now, the interesting thing is that the... It seems to be the same hockey as for rope arrows. So I wonder if I can buy a rope arrow as well, or whether they will stack together and be a problem. I will try it, but I'll save first. Magic flames arrows, the same as flame arrows, with the burning flames released, there will be remaining ashes that serve as soft and silent carpet. So it explodes and leaves a silent carpet behind. That seems counterproductive in a way, but quiet, but only after it's been noisy. Okay, how much money do I have? 1,726. I need to buy some supplies. Then choose what you want. Ah, I thought I could maybe sneak something from you. 250 gold pieces. Right, that's a pack of five. That's the rope arrow. So that's the hammerite one, that's the necromantic one, and I guess that's the flames and ash one? Yeah. Right, okay, it's just... That's the, that's the price. Alright, so let's see if this stacks. Excellent choice. So 8 is giving me the rope arrow now. But I can get to the grapple arrow by using the switch weapon. Okay. That's good then. Let's grab a couple of healing potions. Excellent. And just like drink them right away. I might grab a spare. Actually, you know, that's a waste, right? Let's reload. We're buying equipment for the next mission. Maybe I can get by on this mission with only one hit point or something. We'll see. Take the rope. We'll take two of those. Uh, what else? Flash bombs are good. Uh, water arrows are good. How am I doing for money? 976. 
And these are fun, but I don't know that I want to use them. Let's have four of those, two of these, 500 left. Uh, might need the healing, you know. That's good. How are we doing? Money wise, 76 left. You know what? It's just enough for backup broadheads. Good. One gold left over. I need to buy some Thanks. supplies. Thanks, man. All right. Let's go find the bank, I guess. Oh, let's go find our piggy bank. Oh. We have a thing to uh, break. Is he coming here? What's there? Apparently he is coming here. Didn't expect to be suddenly brightly lit up. It feels like this room is very dark. I don't know what's illuminating me, but it's. Where did I leave that piggy bank? It was in there, it was in, in that area. Wait for him to come out. Is there another room in here that I could have gotten to? I don't remember. Is that Over you? There. Come on, Get, now, come on. Get back here, you! Oh, you can see me. I'll find you. Just you wait. Come on, coward. Face me. I can't believe I lost him. Whoops. Come on up then. Alright. Stop <laughs> fooling around. Where are you? Well, this is kind of a mistake, isn't it? I know you're around here somewhere. We could get on top of this actually, but I wonder if that's useful. I know you're around here somewhere. Well you're wrong. I'm over here, miles away. Oh, I could get up there, but I can see now there's no point. Let's go the other way. So I don't have to run past those angry guards again. Wait, this isn't the bank. That's why we want the... Uh, at the back? Wait, this is the north end of town. I haven't been here. He does this with him there, yeah. I'm just, I understand. So what is this? Guarantee you mind. Both halves open. Okay. So that feels like a trap door that's gonna open as well somehow. Do 
I see any switches? I do not. Aha. Uh -huh. Mech cabin room. Hello. Dear love, I need to find the key to the special box that I know is hidden in the weapon shop. That perhaps contains a crap arrow. That is a great object that allows you to play ropes on stone. Please help me, I probably forgot it somewhere in your room since the last time we were together. Maybe one of these days I'll come to you by the cableway. See you soon, my love. Duke Andrea. Hmm. It's not there. I mean, it's not the key I just picked up, right? It's, it's labelled as room. Mech cabin room. I don't understand why Dr. Feather's pills are meant to be used, because, like... They can be used somewhere, but where? I mean, I've got a gra grapple arrow anyway, so... Finding this, this key... I don't know if it's in this room or whether it's hinting at a different room. Talking about the cableway. I can hear the guard here. I should not be able to hear him. Well, I can't find the secret switch. If there is one. It shall remain a mystery, I suppose. Who goes there? Nobody goes there. Oh god, he's searching there. Why is he searching there? That's not not nice of him. It's a little rude. Quiet, Garrett. Okay, a door. Doesn't open from at least from here. <laughs> Let's have fewer torches. That's right. I can't pick up all of them. Of course, there's the villa entrance there. The, uh, the, those guys are guarding. But we have to find a way into. Okay. What is this place? More silver horseshoes. Well, that's some more money. We could buy more things with 81. It's not a lot of money. That's the way in without mantling the wall. Where is this? It's Frank. Frank, I have a plan. 
I know where Lombardi keeps the jewels. It's the place here in the villa. And I know and I now know how to let you enter the villa's grounds. It's simple. Yesterday when I was on duty, I went to throw out the garbage as usual. To do that, we use a hole beneath the fireplace in the old barn. Well, closing my nose to avoid the stink, I went down there, and surprise, with the light of a torch, I clearly saw that there are some loose bricks that can be easily removed. The opening comes out in a very dark corridor of the sewers, just under the main wall that surrounds the villa's grounds. Meet me at the Rusty Junk Pub on Wednesday, and I'll tell you the details. Your business partner. Hole beneath the fireplace in the old barn. Hmm. Loose bricks. Hiding down here. Anything hidden in your barrel? No. Okay. And where the old barn is? I don't know. Okay, so there was. Did I find something else down this way? Maybe that's the approach to the bank? Maybe this was the approach to the bank. Oh, we're back here again. Right. Is he reacting to me being there? It does kind of seem like it. Getting up there. <laughs> oh, actually, we don't need to use a noisy gravel arrow when we get a quiet rope arrow, right? <laughs> Boarded up window. Maybe there's nothing up here for us. Except the possibility of getting stuck. And a couple more crates. Because we have a shortage of crates in this mission. see anything else up here for me so let's try and get down relatively safely <gasps> there we go rescue the crates from uh, an ignominious something or other and this is just going around in circles. Okay. Well, let's close that one. Coming or going? Alright, we've got what? 70, 80, 80. Do I want to buy any more water arrows or what? Welcome, stranger. What can I get for you? Ah, the keys to this hidden box. I, wear, I wonder where this hidden box is. Can I climb on your counter? No? You are indeed protected by a hidden force field. No sign of a hidden box, huh? Uh, right. I mean, I could buy one more water arrow. It's not really worth it, is it? I'll tell you all, though. Welcome, stranger. What can I get for you? I will uh, end the episode here. And um, next time, we'll go hit that bank. <laughs>